guys, welcome back to Testing Basics and thank you very much for watching. This time we're going to be doing cardigans and I have been filming this over the past week and thoroughly enjoying it because I have gotten <coughs> a frog in my throat and also gotten very into wearing cardigans. They're like great for this time of year when it's like a little bit cooler so you can throw them on over your t-shirt but also um, come winter I'm going to wear them under blazers and lighter jackets to transition again before we fully get into coat weather. So I've been loving, loving, loving wearing them and you're going to see all the way I've styled them but I found them all very, very versatile. Um, as always I have five here from high street to high end, all of them I've bought myself so none have been gifted for this video. Um, and let's start with the most affordable which is ASOS. This was £28 and I got this in a UK 8 and the composition is 38, no sorry, the composition is 68% recycled polyester. Which is interesting because I've never noticed them used recycled or used that terminology before on their website, maybe that's a new thing for ASOS. 21% nylon, 9% wool, and 2% elastane. And as I said, this was £28. It is a light grey cropped cardigan, uh, very, very, very low V neck to it, um, and just straight arms, very, very straight in the body, quite cropped. Dimensions wise on me, the thing to remember is I have a really, really, really short body. All my height is in my legs, so this does come up to like waistband on my jeans to me. For me but I think if you had a more normal to longer length body it would feel a lot more cropped but for me it kind of feels like normal length um it ha sort of has a slightly fleecier texture than all the other ones maybe that's the maybe that's the nylon in it or maybe it's the polyester in it could be either the two because the other other the ones don't have either of those materials in it but there is something that makes it feel a bit more fleecy and a bit more scratchy than some of the others that I've got coming up uh, but I think it fits really, really true to size. It's quite oversized, so I definitely wouldn't size up, even if you like an oversized fit, because it is a tad oversized. So I recommend going for your normal size. It definitely sheds a lot as well and gets in your eyes, but that's all right. And uh, next up from there, we have Uniqlo, which is always a go-to for winter for me. This T-shirt's from Uniqlo. I feel like I might get questions about it. It's a men's Uniqlo T-shirt, just for basics. That is, I often forget to include it in testing basics. And then when I go in, I'm like, Uniqlo should be in every testing basics I ever do because it is so 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 good So I went in this time and bought the cardigan. I got this in a size small. This is from their merino range uh, It was £34.90 and, and it is 100% wool This one and the most expensive one are the only two ones that are 100% wool Which is very 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 interesting. I'm just going to check the label and make sure it doesn't say a type of wool no just wool and um, so this one is inside out <laughs> but it just has the cowl neck they do do them in a v-neck as well and i think uniqlo is pretty well known for having such a huge range of colors and things so it is available in tons of different colors i went for the black but you honestly just spoiled the choice um so this is the cowl neck one and then it just has the slightly pearlescent buttons which is what i would see as quite a classic thing in a cardigan this definitely feels like a very classic cardigan um it's relatively loose fitting through the body with the elasticated waistband and the elasticated cuffs so it just feels like a really classic cardigan basically it's a much lighter weight knit than the asos one i have three light ones and two chunkier ones here this is probably the lightest of them all and um, but it's still really warm to wear i don't want to give away too much but um because it's 100 percent wool it does just because it's thinner i didn't find it much cooler really so yeah that was uniqlo at 34.90 do a bit of a jump up from there to Amber the Stories. This was £69. Annoyingly, this colour has sold out. So try and store, but it is also available in black. I have the lighter shade. And the um, composition of this is 50% polyester and 50% polyamide. And I got it in a European size small. Again, I'd say true to size. It's pretty oversized. This is the heaviest and the chunkiest of them all. A very similar shape to the ASOS one, except it cinches in at the waist quite a bit more and also has a lot more shape going through the sleeves. Here, you'll be able to see in the cutaways a lot better. Um, and then it has these huge buttons on it, which I really, really like, which have a slight marble texture on them. Nothing too obvious. Um, and yeah, it's quite a V-neck again and it's a cropped length, but kind of normal for me because of the old short body again. Um, the colour of this is amazing, but as I said, it is still available in black online, so I'll link that below and look in store if this is the sort of colour that you're after. Uh, but yeah, big jump up, but initial thoughts is it does feel a lot more expensive than the ASOS one. 
So next up is American Vintage. I have this in size small. It was £135. This is 50% alpaca, 26% merino wool, 21% polyamide and 3% elastane. So a really, this is like 75% wool basically, but two different types of wool. Uh, this is in like a charcoal grey colour and it's probably in between on the thickness of things because it is sort of a similar fit to the Uniqlo one and it feels like a classic cardigan with the cowl neck and has a similar billowingness to it but it's slightly thicker and warmer and just a little bit fuzzier basically um i really like it it just have a nice fit to it i would say go for your normal size and again it has the slightly pearlescent buttons but in a lighter shade so they really do show up against the wall uh, the only thing that is annoying about this is the fact that the cuffs are pinned back don't love that but that was american vintage and for the most expensive one we have Joseph, this was £245, quite the jump up, this is 100% wool, 100% merino wool, um, and this is also inside out. This is a navy blue, quite fitted one, this one feels like it does have a bit of tailoring in it because it is really nicely fitted. Um, cardigan through the front, it has a really wide ribbed texture to it, so it, like a vertical stripe almost, and the texture of the knit and then really deep brown buttons and it's a v-neck uh, i have this in a size <sighs> bear with me it must be on the side label i have this in a size medium and i think it fits pretty 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 damn good i've got relatively big boobs which is why i ended up going for the medium because when you were done up the small gate a little bit so maybe if you have big boobs go a size up if you're flatter chested then maybe uh, your normal size would be fine but it is quite stretchy as well and this size fits me really really good so I do like how this looks a lot and you'll see from the cutaways what I mean about it feeling a tad more fitted than the other ones as well. So yes, we just talked for England already. That was all five of them. I'm gonna wear them all over the next five days, show you how I have styled them and then wash them all at the end as per their washing instructions and then share final thoughts. Hey guys, I have on the Joseph one today just with a tank top, which is from Amazon Fashion and then these old Topshop jeans. Um, I really do really like, like really do really like this cardigan, lots of really. I like the fact it's a bit fitted, like you can just see the way it's, um, it's just got a bit more shape and fit to it than the other ones, which is really, really, really nice. And I think this will also work really well done up and tucked into stuff because it's that skinnier fit. Uh, I like the fact that the sleeves are quite long and skinny and things like that. It just does have a nice fit to it. But I don't put it on and think like, oh, it doesn't, I, I don't know what a 250 pound cardigan should feel like, but this isn't, maybe just a cardigan is never gonna feel like you should have spent 250 pounds on it basically. Because as much as I like it, I'm a bit like, that's just 250 quid. But I don't think it looks that amazing really. Um, so yeah, I like it, but it's not like, wow. I do really, the fitting, the way it's a bit fitted is lovely though. And it's been very comfortable and everything and just, yeah not blown away by it hey guys excuse the noise outside it's not in her carnival this weekend so there's like a constant soundtrack of with way like a whistle and i've been waiting for a break in it it's relentless there is no break in it so i just have to talk loudly over it and hope that you can hear me um today i've had on the uniqlo one which i've worn done up with some jeans just some levi's jeans I've been around the house with the same put my slippers on when I knit type just on my lower base for drills. Um, and then I put my TV jacket over it. I'll show you the outfit in a second. And then my old blues necklace here. I really, really like this one. It's really, really soft. I like how it looks tucked in and done up. I'll equally try and wear this like over a t-shirt one day as well. But this style of cardigan, I do really like just wearing it as a jumper. And it's like the perfect lightweight weather for, um, lightweight knit for this kind of weather as well. You guys know normally I go braless, but for something like this, I just have on a big black um, Calvin Klein like t-shirt bra, which is really thick as well, just because I was worried about the buttons coming open a little bit. And because it's black as well, if they do spread, oh, that was the Calvin Klein logo, but the top bit's black, so if it does, the buttons do open a little bit or gape a little bit, then it's just black underneath. Um, but yeah, I really, 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 really like this cardigan in comparison to the Joseph one. I mean, I think the Joseph one has a much nicer cut. Obviously, I've worn them differently. I would wear the Joseph one like this as well. Obviously, it has a nicer cut to it and a nicer shape. Sorry, I'm distracted by a helicopter now. It is endless, the distractions today. Um, yeah, the Joseph one does have a nicer cut and the fabric does feel more expensive, but probably not over 200 pounds worth of difference. 
if I'm honest. I'm really liking this one. Hey guys, I had the ASOS one on today. One with my toe ten minute pants and a white slip on vans. And then my Frankie store blazer over the top. Um, this is nice, this jumper. I prefer the end of the stories one, which I know is a similar style. This one makes you really sweaty. Like, it's been quite cold today, but still hot on the tubes. And it's like, I don't know what it is. It's something about the fabric that's made me be really, like, sweaty and sticky and not feeling that nice. I think the shape of the end of the stories one is much better. I do like how cropped this is and just how boxy as well. So I do really like it. I just personally think that the end of the stories one is worth the extra money. Because there's something about the fabric of this which is way less luxurious, like it's a lot stretchier, it just feels quite a bit cheaper basically. Um, but I do still like it a lot. Definitely need to take it off though because I am so hot right now. Hi guys, had on the And of the Stories one today with a white t-shirt from And of the Stories as well, and a black Reformation silk mini skirt and a Mingle Balance trainers. Um, quick full length shot there. Um, I really really like this one, it is kind of different to style because it's chunky, I would wear it just as a top without something underneath but I don't think it would tuck in quite as well to jeans as the other two would. So this is really different to style, it's so 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 comfortable, it does obviously for obvious reasons. Feel cosier and snugglier than the other two but that is just because it's thicker. I really 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 like the colour, I love the big buttons, the finish on it's really nice, I like the fact it's got different knit styles, knit knit patterns, I'm sure there's a technical term for that, anyway, different tap styles of knit running through it, um, knit running through it, <laughs> and yeah, I really, really like it, it does feel kind of hard to compare it to the other two, so maybe the final comparisons will be like comparing this more to the ASOS one, and then the other three more closely, um, but yeah, so far, I would say that I really like this one and the Uniqlo ones the most, because I don't feel like you need to go spend a fortune. And these two have been those two have been really really great for a good price as well this one i would say does feel more expensive than the uniqlo one as well hey guys i had on the um american vintage one today just with a black uniqlo t-shirt and just just filmed the intro of this video in this outfit as well top shot jeans low fas for drills and because it's been quite warm today when i've been out and about also i had a right pig zero of it this time but had this draped over my shoulders like so just looking in the mirror and i really like how that looks as well one second let me just perfect it so that you guys can properly see yeah sort of like a bit of a cape and i really really like it so it's a nice way to wear your cardigan if it gets a tad warm this one i've liked not wild about it say the money's more um compared to the uniqlo one which is the one i want to compare it to closely in terms of the fit of it it doesn't really do much more for me than that one to say it's £100 extra. It is warmer and cosier and it kind of feels like something I want to wear around the house. I can really snuggle up in it. Um, but I really dislike the way that the cuffs are sewn over like that. And just, I don't think it's wow to say, like the Jigsaw one, um, God, I keep saying that. The Joseph one feels a lot more special to say it's a more premium price, whereas this really doesn't feel that special at all. Okay guys, what I want you all to know is I've just watered this plant because I know I'm going to get some concerned comments and rightly so, I'm dreadful at looking after plants but it has just been watered. Um, on to the final section, I've just washed all of the cardigans and I have had a bit of a disaster. So, for all four of them except for the American Vintage said that they could just be on a cool wash, which is what I've done. But then I thought, you know what, I'm going to do the American Vintage one the same because it's just a different type of wool. But the other two are just wool, so surely it'll be fine. And it's more of a fair test if they've all been washed the same. It's not the same. The wool obviously makes a difference because this has shrunk. <laughs> like, I can't even get this on and it's kind of, yeah. You guys tell me, is that because it's alpaca wool and not normal wool? But this one has to go in last place, obviously, because it now looks like this. It's absolutely tiny. I can't believe this has happened. <laughs> I'm gutted. Well, I, it was going to come in last place anyway, I have to say, because I don't think it's worth the price tag it has. And obviously, the fact she would have to hand wash it every single time says a lot there. But if anyone knows why this has done this and the others are all fine, do let me know. That's American Vintage in the last place. 
I can't believe that's happened. So the other four are all absolutely fine. There's been no mishaps with the washing there, thankfully. Um, and in the next phase, I'm going to put the Joseph one, just because I don't think you need to go and spend this much on a car, this much money on a cardigan at all. I do really like this cardigan. I like the fit of it. I like the shape of it. But I like the fit of the shape of the other two, honestly people who do that not one person is pleased to hear that noise it's one of the worst noises ever it drives me nuts um but yeah the um, i like the fit of it like i said but i just don't think it looks as expensive as it is or that you need to go and spend that much money on a cardigan or that it's desperately worth over 200 pounds at all i will wear it but i wouldn't definitely would never go and spend this much money on a cardigan again so i'm going to put that in that spot and then in the next spot i'm going to put the asos one just because i do think it looks cheaper and feels cheaper than the other more high street ones um obviously it was cheaper but i don't feel like it's one of those really good bargain pieces that is better than slightly more expensive high street ones basically um i think this is going to be one that i end up wearing around the house quite a bit and it's just the 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 material is just that little bit scratchy and a bit less soft i like the shape of it a lot though i do like how cropped it was and i liked the outfit that i wore with it the day that i wore this one so i'm not not going to wear it and this one has washed really well and dried really really quickly too which is good but yeah i just think that the other two especially the uniqlo one because there's not too much difference in price is well worth that tiny little jump of money um, and because i think i'm going to put this in next spot the end of the stories one which is obviously a similar ish style and it is a considerable price jump but it just feels and looks way more expensive i think the way it's got different knit patterns we just still don't know that word knit patterns going through it and it's really really heavy not scratchy or really comfortable it does just definitely feel and look slightly more expensive. So yeah, I'm going to put this one in second place. Really, really like it. I'll keep an eye out to see if it comes back in stock in the lighter colour. It might well do. Um, and yeah, I, you guys might remember that I have a black under the stories cardigan, which I wore a lot last winter, which is a similar style to this. So I know this style, the really chunky, is kind of different to like the Uniqlo one. And I feel like you should have one of each in your wardrobe because of the different ways you can style them. But these are so good to throw on this time of year. Um, and also this would look really nice just worn on its own done up too so this i'm excited to wear lots more and it leaves in first place with the uniqlo one just i think for the price of it to say it was 100 percent wool um it's just so they're just so 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 good i know that the style of it is a lot more classic and maybe the end of the stories one is feel that like much more of a fashion piece i suppose whereas this does feel very 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 classic but i really like the look of it i like the fact it's quite lightweight but still really warm i think for 36 pounds was this one 35 pounds it's just so good it's washed really well it's such a basic piece but it's just really 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 good and maybe kind of hard to compare so closely to the end of the stories one in some ways i could put them both at joint first place because i think that you should get them both basically because of how different the styles are but for like a classic cardigan i honestly don't think i'd ever look anywhere else again i would go and buy this in different colors i would go and get it in a v-neck would basically just spend my money again on this i think it's completely worth it um, so yeah, Uniqlo coming in at number one and I must remember to keep featuring Uniqlo because I've been wearing their t-shirts loads recently as I said and their basics are just so good. Um, but yes, aside from the American Vintage one, which has obviously been a complete utter disaster, I think the other four I will wear quite a lot going forward. Maybe the ASOS one I'll wear the least, I would, I would guess. But the other three I think I'm going to wear a lot and the American Vintage one. I can't believe how much of a mess I've made of that. Um, but anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this one. I really enjoyed filming this, like I said. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. Maybe we could do some sort of footwear or coats. I know lots of people are asking for coats. I'm just going to hold out a little bit longer for it to get a tad colder. Uh, maybe some st style of jacket that's not a blazer. I don't know what style I could do, though. Anyway, as always, suggestions are more than welcome. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.